Hey peeps, how y'all doing today? Y'all doing good? That's good. Today is Wednesday, October the 3rd at 1.45 in the p.m. So we just finished up homeschooling. And I'm about to do my read. But before I get off into my read, I want to show y'all something. I'm not playing. I'm not playing, y'all. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. But anyways, I hope ordered me this steamer off of Amazon. Y'all know I shop. I get mostly everything off of Amazon. It's just easier that way for me considering the situation, my situation. Like, I don't drive. So, yeah. So, I want to show it to y'all. It's this. And it's by these people. I like. I always drop stuff. I don't know why. I don't think a day go bad where I don't drop something. So it looked like this. I read the reviews. It was pretty good. So I'm going to have to test it out. We got the little bat still in the package. The little cup for the water. And the little brush. So I will definitely be trying this out probably tomorrow because I got to go out tomorrow. I'll be trying that out. So, see how it work. I hope it worked good so I can leave that and and the and the board alone. But I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to get rid of my and and the board. Because my skirts, that be really wrinkled because of the material. They thin. And I think these will work better to get the wrinkles out. My tops don't too much be that wrinkled. It be my little skirts. So yeah. Like that. Yeah, so that's that. That came in this morning. And what I've been doing, I had to wash this morning. I had four loads. I had well no, I had three. I had my darks, which took forever because I was washing the hubby robe and all that, and that's thick. And so, yeah, that took forever to dry. And then I had put my whites and my brights together since there wasn't that many brights. I just combined them. So they gave me two. And then I had to wash my kitchen rug, my bathroom rug, and five reveal pads because I got like seven, eight. I think I got eight. I washed five. It's one on there. And it's two in the bin. So I got eight reveal pads. That's to switch it up. Cause we reveal mop every week. Twice a week. And yeah. We normally start Sunday. <sighs> and I got a list. It's, it's written down on the refrigerator. And whoever have to do it that Sunday have to change the reveal pad. And they'll the uh, bottle knee feeling they have to do that or whatever so just switch them out so I had to do that and my back hurt it's like around my shoulder I think it's the way I was sleeping man it's been hurting like over almost two weeks and I just been having a hubby just massaging and the girls to massage it thinking okay it'll go away but I think when I power one out, oh my gosh, I power one out like it's Wednesday, Tuesday night, no, Monday night. It went out Monday night around, well, kind of Tuesday early in the morning, like around one something. And then it didn't come back on to almost four o'clock, 3.40, and I just couldn't sleep. So I was laying on my couch. I had to light candles and... 
I don't do the dark. <laughs> I mean, the whole block was black. And the house was black. Because we, it stormed real bad um, Monday night. So, yeah. And I didn't, I didn't look, y'all. When it went, I, I, I had just got off the phone with the hubby like around 12, 20. And then he was talking about how it was storming real bad or where he at. Because he on like a, another side of town. Like, I'm on the south side. He like on the west side sort of kind of. And it hit him first, and then it hit us. And then, man, I wasn't expecting that to happen. I'm glad it wasn't like extra, extra hot. It was kind of a little stuffy, but it wasn't hot like how it, how it has been. But I couldn't sleep. I Because in my room, my ceiling fan normally be on, but my ceiling fan was off. I wouldn't get no type of air. I felt like I was suffocating in my room, so I came in here and got on the couch, and then it's okay, but it ain't like my bed. So I was like, I just didn't get no sleep from the whole time the power was out till it came on. And then I had to get up, so that was really nearly. I went, once the power came on, I went through the house blowing out candles, and, and I couldn't really sleep that good because I knew I had candles in the girls' room. I had one in the dining room, I had one lit in my room, I had one lit in here. So I just couldn't sleep comfortably knowing that I got candles burning. You know, even though they like in them big jars like I get from uh, Walmart. But still, you know, I just couldn't sleep comfortably. So when the power finally came on, it was like 340. Because I eventually had to go get in my bed because that couch, it's like I was cramped in my shoulder is kind of already hurting and that wasn't making it no better so I think that did something just laying on them, the couch for like a couple of hours it's some, something happened and so yeah I just had to hurry to put some peppermint rub some peppermint essential all on it I thought it was gonna go away other than that I would have been here it, it all it, it wasn't hurt as bad but I think sleeping on that couch did it made it worse so yeah, he put some uh, peppermint essential oil on it. He rubbed it in real, real good. It's kind of like an icy hot type of situation. It kind of burned and cool. It, it, it had that type of effect, but it works. And I should have had been dead and it, it'll be gone. Because normally when he do that, I might have him do it again before he go to work. Probably tomorrow it'll be good. Or I was, yeah, I'm thinking tomorrow. It should be good tomorrow. Thursday, no later than Friday. I see tomorrow when I wake up how my shoulder feel. But yeah, power went out. I'm like seriously. The night before that, I think cause my shoulder was hurting, I I was tossing and turning. I declare, I think I got about four hours of sleep because I had to get up like at 8:30 yesterday morning. So I think I'm still struggling from a lack of sleep, y'all, basically. So yeah, what else been happening? Nothing. Yeah, I need to go get some more candles, dog. I'm <laughs> like, tomorrow when I go out, I'm going to get some more. Than, I like the black cherry uh, Walmart candles. It's uh, I like that scent, and I like I normally like that in my room. And so I hid some just in my little bin. And I got one like in the dining room. So them are the ones I lit. But yeah, I'm going to get four more because it might happen again. You know, and ain't no telling. It might be off longer or something. So I got to stock up on some candles. But anyways, y'all, I guess that's about it. I'm thinking... And I've been kind of real sluggish. I'm still on kitchen duty, but since the hubby back um, working nights and he be home during the day, he get his little sleep early. But uh, he normally used to wash dishes for me on Fridays. I'm going to try to slide that in there like tomorrow, <laughs> Thursday. Like, bae. <laughs> I mean, he do the full, he don't do the full works, but he wash the dishes, he dry them, he put them up, he 
wipe the counter, counter all, but I always had to go behind him and do that. He cleaned the dish rack out and all that, clean the sink out. He don't fool with the stove. I do the stove. I go back over the counters and um, he sweep and mop. I reveal mops, but they use the regular mop. I just don't be feeling like handling that mop. Reveal mop is easier for me, so yeah. But uh, he do all that, so hopefully he'll do it for me Friday because I'm over the kitchen. I'm over it. I'm over it. Because Reem, man, and then they had pizza. She's supposed to throw all of the little crummy crumbs away in the garbage. And she must have missed the whole garbage. And when I moved the garbage can in the kitchen, it was a whole bunch of piece of crumbs behind the garbage. I'm like, seriously? One day. One day. But yeah, y'all, let me go and get into this free. Oh, and today is supposed to be like 80 something degrees and it's supposed to be warm. We're talking October the 3rd. It's supposed to be, and it's, it is warm because I went outside to throw my box away that um, my package came in. And it's really warm out there. So I got my air conditioner and I got my fan on. Because I've been walking up and down them steps, washing. Y'all finally through washing and drying. I just finished up uh, folding the clothes and putting them up. And by the hubby in the room in the bed, I normally go in my room and uh, fold the clothes and my drawers and everything and the closet is right there. Right not too far from the bed, but I had to do everything in here. So I had to take stuff from here all the way into the room. I'm like, oh. I used to just still dump them clothes on that bed while he up in me. I, I think that's what's gonna happen next time because I'm not my back hurt. It, it's not my it's 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 right up under my shoulder bone in the back. Like I know it has something to do the way with the way I laid or something. It's like hey, you have a crook in your neck. I got one like around my shoulder part on the right side. Oh, only on the right side, though. That's, that's the type of day I'm having, basically. And then I got to go in here and wash dishes. And it ain't even the washing dishes. It's the everything else. Oh, gosh. I need to clean the inside of my stove. I do not like, now that's something else I don't like doing. That's why I like the myself cleaning stove. I do not like cleaning the inside of stoves. It's so tedious to me. It's just so tedious. Even when I was growing up, I didn't like it. And I still don't like it. I don't like dusting. And I don't like cleaning the inside of the stove. I do it, but I don't like it. I dread it. I'm like, ugh. Because you got to do so much bending to get all back there, up there, this way. Oh, and the door is right there in the way. I don't, be t I don't take doors off of no stove. Hey, that one I have to get my own stove again. My self-cleaning stove. Because that, that self-cleaning stove out here uh, really self-clean good. I'll put it like on two or three hours and we'll leave the house. And uh, while I'm shopping or something going out for that day, that's the day I was self-cleaning. I did it like once a month, I'm thinking. And it'll just burn all that stuff up in there. And all you really got to do is just wipe it out after that. Let me get into this, Ray. I need a word. I straight up need a word, for real. Y'all need a word. Let's get a word together. Is y'all feeling me with that stove situation? Or do y'all have a self-cleaning uh, stove? Man, whoever invented that, that was a good one. It's certain inventions that I just be like, kudos to you, like vacuum cleaners. Microwaves, not so much, because I really don't use I never really use microwaves like that, but just for popcorn and stuff. I never cook, cook in microwaves, just to warm up stuff. But vacuum cleaners... 
Uh, oh man, I love vacuum cleaners, y'all. If it was up to me, I have out all kind of vacuum cleaners up in here that do different things. <laughs> Yeah, but um, what else was good? What else is a good invention? Air conditioners. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I love air conditioners. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for air conditioners. Um, what else? Iron. I used to love ironing. I'm over it. But I thought iron was good because I hate wrinkles. I hate wrinkles with a passion. So yeah, irons was the thing. I don't like. I didn't like. I didn't like iron boys then. I don't like iron boys now. But I, I like irons and computers, man. Computer phones. Yeah, it don't be on the phone like I used to. But yeah, phones. Um. Of course, cars, even though I'm over cars to a certain degree because when they break, they're so expensive to get fixed. But I like having my own, you know, transportation and go when I want to go, come back when I want to come back because I done been there where I had to wait on people to come and pick me up. I don't have to take cabs, taxis, all that, buses, walk. So I really appreciate having my, how we, us having our own vehicle. So that's, that's like, man, that's a good invention, but yeah, a blessing, for real, for real. Wash machines, oh my God, and dryers. Good invention, good invention. Yes. Um, I think if I keep thinking, it's going to get real, like, toilets. Because <laughs> when you watch old pictures, uh, old movies, how they used to have to go to the outhouse and all that, and I'm like, man, I appreciate a flushing working toilet. In your own house? What? Tubs. Hot water, man. I love baths. Hot baths. Oh. What that? I hate bugs. I mean, he just, that net just came and just messed up my whole mood. I guess that was a saying. Get into reading. This ain't about your, uh, what you prefer, your favorite likes, or your favorite inventions type of video. You're supposed to be doing the read sharing. You, 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 you done lost focus. Get back on track. And that net came and got me back on track. Because I hate bugs. Ugh. And I was almost, and the bee was trying to attack me the other day. Oh my gosh, that bee was coming for me. I'm like, Lord. Get your bee. Get this little bumblebee. For real. If I have to walk around with a can of ray in my hand and be killing your bees. <laughs> can you just swoop this little bee up? I declare I think that was just the bee from my back porch and front porch. Follow me all the way to Aldi's. <laughs> I'm like, what's up with these bees? What? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was flash in the beginning of the summer. Now we dealing with these bees. Oh, and gnats. First of all, flash and fruit flash in the beginning of the summer. Now it's cooling down. Now it's these mosquitoes, these bees, and these gnats. They need to get out of people's space, like for real, for real. If I can have a whole little thing, like an electrocuted, electrocution wire around my whole house, uh, I could cut it on doing, I don't know, like after the mail lady run or the mailman run. Because I don't want to electrocute people, but I'm just saying, I need a barrier around my whole house for bugs. And when they come close, they get stung like a whole big old, you know, some kind of... Force shield, electrocution shield. Because I'm over these bugs, man. Okay, I'm ready now. Y'all ready? I know I don't talk to y'all all. Y'all, just bear with me, y'all. I'm working on like a lack of sleep, a sore shoulder, pain, and sleep do not go well together. It's really annoying and irritating. And when you feeling like that, you have a tendency to talk about it. <laughs> okay, y'all.
I'm on the next topic in chapter one. Led to receive the promise of God's spirit in you. Y'all ready? Ready to get a read on? Oh no. We need to read. We we I need one. If y'all don't, I need it. But just listen, okay? Just keep me company. Every person who receives Jesus has the Holy Spirit in his life. Anyone who says he does not have the Holy Spirit has not received Jesus. The Bible says no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 3. It also says if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. Romans chapter 8 verse 9. So don't think you do not have the Holy Spirit working in your life. He drew you to God in the first place. Woo, I like that. When you trusted in Jesus, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13. When we receive Jesus, he gives us the Holy Spirit of God to dwell in us. Man, I be mean, man. We don't have Jesus living with us in the flesh, but we do have his spirit living in us now. Mm, mm. One of my nephews received Jesus into his heart at an early age. And not, for, and not long afterward, he caught a stomach flu. When he kept throwing up, he said to his mom, I think Jesus wants to get out. <laughs> That's funny. I love that story. His mom, of course, explained to him that this was not the case. But sometimes I wonder if too many people believe something like that. I said if Jesus comes and goes according to how good they are at the moment or how he feels about them. But the seal of our being born again is the Holy Spirit in us. He is the proof. It is a done deal. See, this one I'm talking about. This is why I like her. See, this is why I love her writing for real because see that's about a done deal that's she, she stole my words really she really did I'm, I'm just saying she i think she like here yeah, one of them nah, i ain't even let my imagination run too wild because i lose y'all he is the proof it is it is a done deal he doesn't ever leave i'm not gonna be able to finish to why i got it marred because i did a lot of talking already so, I think I should stop there. How about what y'all think? I think I should stop there because I don't kind of like burnt y'all ears off with my whole whatever that was. Yeah, I'm going to stop right there, y'all, because I talked enough and I'm just not in the mood for a long, 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 long video. So, basically, um, she talking about how the Holy Spirit, how Jesus is not with us in the flesh, but how he is with us in the spirit. <clears throat> how his spirit dwells on the inside of us. And <clears throat> when you receive Jesus and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit comes in and dwells inside of you to keep you holy, to keep you period. from Not just holy, but it, it, it works on so many levels, y'all, especially with attitudical people. Yeah, it just keeps you, it, it tells you, like, when to talk, when not to talk, <laughs> when to say this or when to say that, or if, if, if you should say this or not say that. That's what the Holy Spirit, it does, all of that. It keeps you, and it's real, and it's there. And she's saying, because you might slip up, with the attitude or however it may be, he don't leave you because of that. You know, he know. He know. The spirit is willing and the flesh is weak. He knows that. You know, but with that, you just repent. All my fault. I'm sorry. Forgive me. And you get it together. You regroup. You regroup. And he still stays up in there while you regroup. And he don't leave you. Like she said, when you come in and you receive him, it's a done deal. It's a wrap, y'all. Now, if it's now if I continue to read her book and, and, and she have, it's a wrap up in here. 
somebody been listening to my somebody done plugged in into my house and listening to my conversations man what was that Annette what was that but yeah so that's what basically she said in this part and how some people might think that when they mess up or uh, get out of character let somebody kind of dictate their mood and everything like oh Jesus the Holy Spirit is not there anymore if you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior he's still there he understands God understands you know and everything so yeah that's basically what that was saying because that was a very short part I read but I want to do some type of reading and everything and um I finish it up Friday. Well, not the chapter, but where I was supposed to stop it, I'll stop there Friday. So, yeah, y'all, I guess that's about it. I'm going to go on here and put this on my computer and have it up today, Wednesday, um, day. Woo, woo, tomorrow. It's our trip day. I call it trip day because we have to go out and do some things. Friday, we have a half a day. Saturday, y'all. We're going to see Venom. Mm. Who been waiting on Venom? I know it ain't just me. I just love all them little things. I mean, like, DC Comics, Marvel, uh, X-Men, and I'm waiting on Venom. Ooh, Aquaman. Ooh, they done made an Aquaman. Who grew up on Aquaman? I think that come out in December. I can't wait to see that. But yeah, we're going to the movie Saturday <clears throat> to see that. And then I think the next week on a Sunday, we're going to the Soul Circus. So yeah, this will be my first time ever going to a circus, y'all. Things is changing. Things happening. <laughs> I might make it to that cruise one day. I might it on a plane <laughs> oh, okay y'all I hope everybody have a blessed Wednesday safe Wednesday a productive Wednesday get her done and a protective Wednesday and I'll see y'all on Friday finishing up this read the part I was supposed to finish today but I just had to talk with y'all and just spend a little, just, just girl chat. You know, I'll talk about my back and, and the adventures that I like. That just means so much to me. <laughs> On that note, y'all, I'm out. Peace. And love, share a song. And what? I holla. Bye, y'all. See you Friday. T-G-I-L. I ain't do no song for y'all TGIF.